It was a beautiful bright morning as Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. Toad! Toad, wake up! Toad, wake up! It's spring! Toad! Toad! The sun is shining! The snow is melting! Wake up! Oh, I am not here. Toad, where are you? Oh, go away. Oh, there you are. Yeah, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Help, I, I can't see anything. Now, don't be silly. I'm not. Well, what you see, Toad, is the clear, warm light of April. We can begin a, a whole new year together. We'll skip through the meadows and run through the woods and, and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here and count all the stars. You can count them, Frog. I am going back to bed. But, 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 but Toad, you'll miss out on all the fun. Uh, how long have I been asleep? Well, you've been asleep since November. Well, then, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Um, wake me up at about, um, half past May. Half yeah, huh? past May? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 good night, Frog. Oh, but Toad, I'll be lonely until then. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. November? Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page and the January page, the February page and the March page. Oh, it's only April now. Oh. Frog tore off the April page, too. Uh, uh, Toad, Toad, wake up. Uh, it's May now. <coughs> what? Can it be May so soon? Well, uh, yes. Well, 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 look at your calendar. Oh, why? It is May. Then Toad and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. Right. Let's go out and have some fun. Ready. <laughs> Ready. One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Oh. oh. Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green. I'm a frog. Well, today you look very green, even for a frog. Oh. Uh, get into my bed and rest. <sighs> uh, tell me a story while I'm resting. All right. Let me think of a story to tell you. Huh? Hmm. No. Maybe I can... No, no, no. I'll go out on the front porch and walk up and down. Perhaps that will help me think of a story. Hmm, Lysium. Eh, no, no, no. That's rotten. Hmm. Why are you standing on your head? I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me to think of a, a story. Oh. Oh. Why are you pouring water over your head? I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story. 
Why are you banging your head against the wall? I hope that if I bang my head ooh, against the wall, it will help me to think of a story. Uh, I'm feeling much better now, Toad. I, I don't think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it. Because now I feel terrible. Uh, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Oh, yes, if you know one. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. So the toad walked up and down on the porch, but he couldn't think of a story. He stood on his head, but he couldn't think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he couldn't think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he still could not think of a story. <sighs> then the toad did not feel so well, and the frog was feeling better. Hmm. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, Toad? Uh, toad? Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. At last they went back home to Toad's house. Old frat! Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll go back to all the places where we walked. We'll soon find your button. Here's your button. Frog, this is not my button. This button is black. My button was white. Oh. Excuse me, did you lose a button? I found one. This is not my button. This button has two holes. My button had four holes. Hmm, let me... Oh! Oh! Toad will be so pleased. Uh, <clears throat> Toad! Toad! Here's your button. Oh, this is not my button. Oh. This button is small. My button was big. I heard that you were looking for a button. Here's one that I just found. This is not my button. This button is square. My button was round. Oh, no. We'll never... F oh, oh, oh. This has got to be it. Toad, Toad, here is your button. Ooh. This is not my button. This button is thin. My button was thick. The whole world is covered with buttons, and not one of them is mine. Toad? There, on the floor, he saw his white, four-holed, big, round, thick button. Oh! It was here all the time. Oh my, what a lot of trouble I have made for Frog. Toad sewed the buttons they had found that day all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Oh, Toad, it's beautiful. <laughs> 
None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sewed them on very well. Ah, mm -mm. What a day for a swim. Yes. I will go behind these rocks and put on my bathing suit. Oh, well, I don't wear a bathing suit. Well, I do. After I put on my bathing suit, you must not look at me until I get into the water. Well, but, but, but Toad, why not? Well, because I look funny in my bathing suit. Get this suit on. <laughs> Don't peek. I don't want him to see me in my bathing suit. Uh, Turtle, you will have to go away. Why should I? Well, because Toad thinks that he looks funny in his bathing suit. Does, Does Toad, Toad really, really look, look funny, funny in, in his, his bathing, bathing suit? suit? If Toad looks funny in his bathing suit, then I, for one, want to see him. I want to see him, too. <laughs> Me, too. I haven't seen anything funny in a long time. I'm sorry, Toad. Everyone wants to see how you'll look. Then I will stay right here until they go away. The turtle and the lizards and the snake and the dragonflies and the field mouse all sat on the riverbank and waited. Oh, please, please, everybody. Uh, can't you please just go away? No one went away. I will have to come out of the water. I am catching a cold. <laughs> the turtle laughed. The lizards laughed. The snake laughed. The field mouse laughed. The frog laughed. What are you laughing at, frog? <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at you, Toad. Because you do look funny in your bathing suit. Well, of course I do. <laughs> Funny. Seems like I've heard that one before. Oh, don't be silly. Well, what's the matter, Toad? You're looking sad. Yes. This is my sad time of day. Oh. It is the time when I wait for the mail to come. It always makes me very unhappy. But, but why is that? Because I never get any mail. Oh, never get any, never get any mail? No, not ever? No, never. Why, no one has ever sent me a letter. Wow. Well, uh, <clears throat> I have to go home now, Toad. There's, uh, something I must do. Okay. Ah, a letter for Toad. Oh, you! Uh, snail! Uh, snail! Uh, could you please take this letter to Toad's house and put it in his mailbox? Sure. 
right away. Thanks. Hurry up now. Toad, I think you should get up and wait for the mail some more. No, I am tired of waiting for the mail. But Toad, you never know when someone may just send you a letter. No, I don't think anyone will ever send me a letter. But Toad, someone may send you a letter today. Don't be silly. Why, no one has ever sent me a letter before. And no one will send me a letter today. <sighs> Frog, why do you keep looking out of the window? <sighs> Because now I'm waiting for the mail. But there will not be any. Oh, yes, there will. Because I've sent you a letter. Oh, you have? Uh, what did you write in the letter? I wrote... <clears throat> Dear Toad, I'm glad that you are my best friend. Your best friend, Frog. Oh, that makes a very good letter. Frog and Toad sat there feeling happy together. days later, the snail got to Toad's house and gave him the letter. Toad was very pleased to have it. <laughs> 